Older men often find it really difficult to cope with the changes that are thrown up in later life. I think uh, some people find that uh, in later life uh, they need somewhere to go, they need someone to talk to and they need something to do. And the men's shed provides an opportunity to do this. And that's very different to the sorts of models that are thrown up by formal education systems or by services that are provided where we assume that people are clients, customers, patients and dependent. And so in a sense, men's sheds play to men's strengths rather than playing to men's weaknesses. Everybody here is very willing to impart their knowledge onto anybody else. Uh, and that's one of the big advantages here that we see is if you haven't got skills or that, somebody, there'll be somebody here that's willing to teach you. And from a health perspective, we regularly have uh, outside health professionals come in and give a presentation you know, at a monthly meeting. And just from a mental health point of view and a community involvement aspect, this gives the members you know, a wider feeling of what's out there as well and that they're not alone either. And a lot of them will just come in you know, from a, their own health point of view, even just to have a chat in that for a couple of hours in the morning. They don't necessarily go to the workshop. They don't have to go and come and work. No. work working's not a compulsory component. They can just come in and sit, sit down and have, a, have a, a, a cup of tea and a chat. We had one fellow here who was, who was a pretty good artist and we ran some art classes for a while, which a few of us got involved with. And so one of the reasons why the learning works here is because it's informal. When the guys here say, I'm learning about how to do stuff, they're learning how to do stuff, but they're not doing it through a course. If there was an exam, if there was competency-based training, the guys wouldn't do it. But if they're working side by side, shoulder to shoulder, they're learning from each other. The Men's Shed is the perfect place for them to continue using the skills and abilities they've developed over a lifetime. Or maybe they've decided that it's time to learn something new. There's research out now that shows that where men are physically, mentally and socially active, then they have better health outcomes. And the Men's Shed offers all those things. It's got the physical activities, it's got the social interaction and it's got the mental stimulus of you know meeting with other guys and discussing things and and working together solving problems and doing all those sort of things that is uh, really important. Uh, I first met Barry Golding in 2008. Um, I'd been working in community development trying to get men involved here in Ireland at that stage and became aware that Barry was visiting Ireland to do some presentations about the research he had done into men's sheds in Australia. Spoke about men's sheds for an hour or so, and it pretty much was the start of a journey for men's sheds here in Ireland. I stayed in touch with Barry all along. Uh, I've been involved in, in um, some of his other work. I contributed to a couple of the books he, he edited, and uh, I really see that, like, how his work has influenced my career, uh, but also how he's influenced 10,000 or more guys here in Ireland. So as well as the success of the men's sheds here in Ireland, um, sheds have flourished in lots of other countries. The sheds are well established in the UK and there's some sheds in, in Denmark, in Iceland, in Canada and in the US. And in ways they're all been linked to Barry's work. Our research has identified the barriers to and proposed solutions for older men re-engaging with learning, education in all its forms, thereby opening up new social opportunities and improving their mental health. And while my job is as an adult education professor, uh, the research has actually gone much broader. It's gone into wellbeing, it's gone into community, it's gone into community development, and it's also become uh, an international movement, which is pretty exciting, really. <laughs>